it's pretty hot. I have been sweating. Um, but I can do this do when it's not super hot out. Like I am just the queen of do. I'm gonna dub myself the queen of do. <laughs> Hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. This is a really weird angle for me. I'm using a new camera. Um, let me know thoughts, let me know what we're thinking. I feel like you guys are like looking down upon me almost. Is my chair up all the way? Oh, girl, we are in for a doozy because if you're new here, things usually get entertaining just by the hot mess express that I am. If you're interested in my makeup look, my lipstick, everything and anything can be found on my Instagram or my TikTok. Be sure to check me out over there. Again, my handle is Faces by Fortune. I am sweating. So if it is like abundantly clear that I'm sweating by sweat specifically on my upper lip, I do apologize. But today I have just been trying a ton of new beauty products because I've been going through the things so I need to replace because I have become a more minimalist shopper. I'm just trying to be more environmentally friendly and economically friendly. Being mindful of expiration dates, using up things while I can. If I don't like them, I give them to other people who I think they might suit. So yeah, just ignore my rambling. I'm not gonna preach to you here today, but I'll give you a quick recap what I'm thinking of them so far. If I finish them, yes or no, we're just talking about product because I am a product junkie. We're just gonna go random willy-nilly. I'm just gonna pick things as they come. Intelligent hair towel. I like this, but the Acquise one is better. It's basically just a hair turban that after you wash your hair, you tie your hair back. I'll insert a clip here. Just tie your hair back. It gets it out of your face. It helps to dry your hair faster, less frizzy. The Acquise one is better than this one, so if you are between the two, I would definitely get the Acquise one. But this one was cute. It's a lot softer. It's a much softer fabric, so maybe if your hair is a little bit more damaged, check out Act and Acre, their hair towel, but I personally like the Acquise one better. However, I use them both. It's my, my personal thought on the matter. Sobel Skin RX was so kind enough to send me some goodies, and I have really been loving the Bio Hyaluronic Moisture Cream. I've mentioned it in a couple of my short videos here. I think I've done a couple skincare ASMRs that I featured it in. It's so, so good. I'm not using it every night because it's summer, so my skin's a little bit more oily. I definitely have combination lean and dry. However, in the summer, I'm a little less dry than I am in the winter. So I think this will be really, really great as the temperatures begin to drop in the fall and winter. I think that's when I will get the most use out of it. But if you're someone who just has extremely dry skin, wrinkle prone skin, I definitely recommend this. It's heavy, like it is a thick moisturizer. It's just gonna soften everything, including, you know, dry skin and fine lines. I love their 15% niacinamide gel serum. I haven't really been using this one too, too much just because I gotta be honest, guys, as I always, always say, I am just loving the crap out of my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Um, but I am dwindling on that, which is sad. And I'm thinking about purchasing a new one. However, I just told you I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of the environment and my finances. So I'm not going to go ahead and buy the Kiehl's. I'm going to move on to this one. So I'll give you guys like a full, full review after I've switched off of my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which honestly, I'm just like a little scared to do because I think if there is one skincare product that has changed my skin for the better, it's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Sobel also sent me their triple Oligo, Oligo, I don't know how you say that, peptide eye cream. I haven't been using this because when they sent it to me, I already had an eye cream that I have my hands in currently, which is the This Works. I don't know, I'll put it down below. It's okay, the This Works one, the one that I'm currently using. I feel like this one will be really, really good, but I haven't given it a shot. I kind of just unboxed it, used it a couple nights here and there just because I wanted to compare it to the one that I'm using now. And I like the texture more of this one. However, I can't say the big claims. I can't tell you whether it's like gonna change your life or not, you know? Okay, Shiseido sent me a bunch of skincare products. I really have not gotten around to trying all of them a lot. So I will really touch upon the ones that I have been using, but they sent me like a whole skincare routine. I haven't tried their purifying scrub mask. I put it on, I think I tried it twice. When I say that I haven't tried it, I've tried all of these things at least once. But when I say try it in this video, I feel like giving it a fair shot, you know? 
I use this maybe twice. I haven't really had any breakouts. I'm dealing with a lot of scarring, acne scarring at the moment and spots on my skin, but I'm not breaking out. So acne has not been a problem. So I really haven't tried that one too much. Calming spot treatment, spot clear. This is really good. I know I just said that I haven't really had acne. I haven't had like an acne breakout. I've had pimples, like random pimples here and there to which I've been using this. This is the Wasso by Shiseido Koshi Rice. I have no idea how, how you're supposed to say that. Really good, it does get rid of pimples, okay? I don't get like cystic acne, I get like pimples you can pop and that helps to get rid of them. Your Complete Cleansing Microfoam, really haven't given this the chance that it deserves. I'm still using my 111 Skin Cleanser in the shower, which I think that one's a little bit too harsh on my skin. And this one felt harsh the three or four times that I used it, but I will definitely let you know in a month or so when I finally switch over to this cleanser, what I think about it. Radiant Serum. I feel like this is gonna be a good product, but I really haven't given it a shot because like I said, I'm on my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate at the moment. But when I've gone through that, I'm gonna make my way through these things. I got a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury products when I went to an event quite a few months ago. Highlight of my spring, had such a good time. And then I feel like ever since that night, everything else went to shit. But we don't need to talk about that in this video. We're just going to be happy and talk about products. Overrated. Let's talk about this one. I don't know, guys. I'm really not a big fan of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. It does give a do, but I think like just the way that I do my makeup and the way that I layer my makeup on top of other makeup and the way that I do my skincare, like I have dry skin, but I can really get my skin to be dewy. This is my skin today. I did not use any highlighter on my face and that is a dewy ass cheek. I mean, granted, it's pretty hot. I have been sweating, um, but I can do this do when it's not super hot out. Like I am just the queen of dew. I'm gonna dub myself the queen of dew. So I don't need a highlighter like this. And also I find like it's, it leans a little orange and I think it could go on like a little patchy. Like it, it doesn't mesh with all of my foundations and all of my concealers. So it can look a little gloopy gloppy. So I'm just like not a really big fan of this, which I know that's like very unpopular opinion. The Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter. Again, I don't use powder highlighters. I feel like powder highlighters are very 2016 and we have definitely moved away from that. But I like this as an eyeshadow. Beautiful shades really gives your eye that brightness and that pop that you are looking for. Like when you wanna do your eyeshadow look and you just wanna sparkle to your eye, like a glisten, a beam. This Pillow Talk highlighter is beautiful in the inner corner, in the center of the lid, underneath the brow bones. I would buy this again, but again, I don't use this as a cheek highlighter. I just don't. This was hyped everywhere. And my friends, you need to believe the hype because this is the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I am in the shade for neutral for any of you that are wondering. If you want to know the Flawless Filter, I'm in shade 3 Fair. Multi Glow Pillow Talk Highlighter, I bought Romance Light. Okay, so now we're covered. Everything will be listed down below. Do not fret. This foundation, I love it. It is like, it reminds me of the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream, but just thinner. And which makes sense because this doesn't have any SPF in it, which is kind of a bummer. But it's kind of like if It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream took its SPF 50 out of it, that would be this product. Like it's light, it's airy, it really, really looks like skin. Like you blend it across your skin and it kind of just blends into nothing. It's like, is she wearing foundation, is she not? Another Charlotte Tilbury product. I have to be honest, I need to put this to the test because I feel like I'm missing something in terms of the love that I should have for this product. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I am in shade one fair. Everyone says it just like erases everything and I am wearing it underneath my eyes and I have to say my under eyes look pretty good. I think this is a product that translates better through multimedia. So like on Instagram and photos. So I think this might be the powder for my wedding day. However, in real life, I think the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder looks better. I'm going to put it to the test. So I'm definitely gonna upload a shorter video here on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. We'll do one side with the airbrush by Charlotte and the other side with Laura Mercier and we will see which powder is better. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm definitely thinking about wearing the Flawless Filter on the day of my wedding, but TBD because I wanna do that side-by-side -side comparison. Araceli sent me, and I'm saying it right this time, I was calling it Araceli for the longest time, 
but it's Spanish, not Italian. It's Araceli, okay? My apologies to anyone I may have offended. Send me a bunch of beauty products. I love that it's a Latina owned brand. I love that it has this like beautiful story of Mexico and it has Mexican related ingredients like agave and just things that are, what's it called? Instrumental to Selly, cause Selly is the owner of this brand that are instrumental parts to her childhood and where she's from and where she grew up. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful story. Okay, let's talk about the products though. They make beautiful eyeliners. I've been wearing their eyeliners forever. I've been wearing them longer than I can remember. Honestly, I think like pre-COVID, I was using their Ojos liners, Ojos Perfectos liquid eyeliner. They sent me a yellow one. I'm just not someone who's gonna wear yellow eyeliner. I mean, never say never, I might. However, I have owned this in black. I have owned it in brown. It has a really nice pen to it. It's stiff and it kind of just goes right over any lines, you know, fine lines or hoodedness that you may have on your eye. It just goes right over it, beautiful, and it doesn't bleed, so what more could one love in an eyeliner? Their Ojos Perfectos Gel Eye Pencil, I like them, they stay in the waterline pretty decently. They are a little thick though, so if you are thinking about lining your eye with them, like throwing on a wing, which I've done, I did a teal eye look, I'll put the video up here, but you need to sharpen them constantly to keep them sharp, like the tip of the liner sharp, because otherwise the, sh the pencil, the sharp, part goes away really quick and then you end up with a thicker liner than you wanted. So just keep that in, in mind when you're using their gel pencil eyeliners. Their tequila highlighter, I like it. It's nice. It's a little too dark for my complexion, but I will give it this. I put it on the first time and I was like, oh my God, that's so dark. I just ruined my makeup. And with any of their powders, their highlighters, their eyeshadows, you put them on and they're really pigmented at first, but if you blend and blend and blend, you can really soften it and get everything to blend. All of their powders are very, very buttery, which is why I'm a very big fan of this product. However, I think if you're someone with a more medium to darker skin tone than me, you will really like this. I got, I think the lightest shade, Blanco, but it just doesn't pair well with my undertones is really what I'm trying to say. But the powder is beautiful. And if you're someone who has a darker complexion than me, again, I think you will really like it. Araceli La Catrina Eyeshadow Palette. Again, very, very pigmented. When you go in and you put them on your lid, you're gonna be like, whoa, I just messed it all up but you didn't, just blend, okay? Very pigmented, but user friendly, you know? They do blend, and if you take your time, you will get a hang of it, and they are very, very pigmented. So that's a plus when you're trying to build, when you're trying to build upon the color, you don't have to take too much time to build upon, but you do need to take the time to blend, if that makes sense. Azteca Eyes Duo, super cute. I love how small and compact this little guy is. I like that it's a crease shade and a lid shade. So it's a crease matte shade and a sparkle lid shade. So that really gives the dimension and the pop of highlight at the same time. But it's not like the best eyeshadow I've ever used, but it's really convenient. And that's what I'm gonna say about it. Merit, I am the biggest Merit fan. If you are interested in Merit and you would like to help support me and my channel, please check out the Merit affiliate code down below. If you're thinking about buying anything, if you could use my link, it's not gonna cost you anything, but I do make a little bit of a commission. I am a Merit partner and I love Merit. But this is how you know that I love you more because while I have a Merit affiliate code, I don't, this is probably the one thing I don't absolutely love from Merit is their lipstick. I just think the shade isn't wowing me. And I think I just have so many lipsticks in my collection that I have like too many things to compare it to. This is Merit Signature Lip. I bought the shade Baby, which is a really beautiful neutral pink. Is it my personal favorite nude shade? No, I like something that's a little bit more peachier, I think, and that's on me because that's not the color that I chose. However, this lipstick is really good if you're someone that likes a really easy breezy lip, which I can totally be in the mood for an easy breezy lip, but I'm gonna be honest, when I'm thinking of an easy breezy lip, I lean towards a quick kind of a gloss and a liner more than a lipstick. That's just personal preference though. However, I have seen a ton of women who have this Merit lipstick and I'm not kidding you, I will go up to a stranger when I see them wearing it and I ask them what they think about this lipstick and people love it. They're like, it's easy, I take it out, I throw it on my lips, one, two, three, done. It's like an easy, breezy kind of lip. It's a good, 
your lips but better color but I like a more glossy lip when I'm going for something a little bit more easy and breezy and I hope that makes sense. The e.l.f. putty, I bought the putty bronzer in tan lines as well as the putty blush in Turks and Caicos. I did a bunch of videos, or is it a bunch? Am I being dramatic? I did a couple videos with these products in it. I think they're beautiful drugstore products. However, I'm gonna be honest, I love my Merit blushes better. I use Merit blush in terracotta as a bronzer, which I like better than e.l.f. tan lines. And then I use the blush in Beverly Hills as my actual blush shade, and I just find them to be more juicy. They kind of like juice up the skin more. It's hydrating. Whereas if you're someone who has combination leaning more oily skin or just oilier skin in general, I think you will really like these because these are a cream, but they kind of dry down in a powder finish. Very good for those of you with oily skin because they're not gonna budge. It's just, I think I like something a little bit juicier, so the Merit ones are definitely where it's at. However, these are really, really great drugstore products. OG sent me a bunch of their products. They sent me this hydrating luminous botanical face mist which i like i don't love but they also sent me their crystal contour set and holy crap i am obsessed with the contour stick in copper it is so freaking beautiful probably my favorite product that they sent me i really do like the blush as well however at the end of the day if i had to make a choice of what my favorite cream blush is i would have to say beverly hills by merit is my favorite this facial spray the spray is a little bit too aggressive and it's too scented. It's like very, very florally for me and I like a very lightly scented facial spray or non-scented at all. So I will use this because they sent it to me and I wanna see how it gets along with my skin over a long period of time. I have been using this, but you guys know I love my Lifestyle & Co. Facial Mist, the Beach Mist, so good. I'm really running low on that one. So as soon as I run low on that and finish it, I'm gonna move on to this. But I'm just, I'm not excited for this, if I'm being honest. Shiseido sent me a bunch of things. Gel to oil cleanser. I don't like this. I don't love it. However, I'm going to commit my face to using it. I've only used it two times. However, I use the Green Clean Cleansing Balm by the brand Pharmacy, and I'm running low on that. I have like none left. I'm literally on the last scraplings of it, so I think I'm going to use up what's left of it to take off the makeup that I have on today and then that's it and I'm gonna have to move on to the Shiseido gel to oil cleanser this is just stickier in my opinion which I don't love the consistency as much as the green clean like I feel like the green clean goes on and it really breaks things down seamlessly and doesn't tug on my skin and isn't sticky whereas this felt a little sticky the two times that I used it Mac in the lipstick faux I'm gonna be honest this is my favorite Mac lipstick however I think my shade preferences are changing. That's a little bit more on the neutral, like pinkish undertone side. And I think that as of lately, I prefer more of a peachy, pinky nude as a nude lipstick. So TBD, I did open a new one because I finally finished my MAC faux. Um, and I had to buy a new one just because it really is like, if you were to ask me my all time favorite lipstick, MAC faux is the answer. However, I think that may be changing. So stay tuned, but I think you will like it. If you haven't tried it, go check it out. It's a beautiful shade. We are coming up on the end, which thank God, because my camera keeps saying that it's overheating. I hope that it's recording, which is why I keep looking over to the side. So apologies if you're like, wondering why I'm not looking at you when I'm speaking to you. I'm just making sure my camera is not turning off because I'm going to be really upset if I have to re-record this. But Kopari CBD Recovery Balm. This is supposed to soothe and recover. It's vegan, cruelty-free, phthalate-free. It's a CBD-empowered coconut balm which melts into the skin to target all the right spots for instant relief. This really doesn't do anything. It is peppermint essential oil. So I like that it's like clean. It's marketing a lot of like calming. I love CBD stuff. However, if you have a sore back, which my back is really messed up right now, and Mike pulled something in his calf and I use this on him, it really doesn't work. So, sorry. It just doesn't work. I had high hopes, but it doesn't do anything. My new camera, the quality is lovely. However, it keeps overheating. So, in honor of it overheating, I went downstairs and made myself an espresso because I like to pretend that I'm in Italy at all times. And I've gotten better at making an espresso. We have a baby veil, baby veil, I don't know. <sighs> Cheers. But Mike taught me how to make the espresso a couple days ago now, and I've just been on an espresso kick. Although last night 
I had an espresso at 5 o'clock and then it was like 10.30 p.m. and I was laying in bed staring at the ceiling when normally I go to bed at 9. So um, today we tried to have it a little earlier. It's 3.30 and look how cute this little, look how cute and official it is. Oh, and it comes with a little spoon. It's so cute. And then Shiseido, they sent me their cleansing massage brush. I like this. I'm going to bring this with me when I go to Greece just so I don't have to bring my Clarisonic. However, on a day-to-day -day basis when I don't need two facial brushes because let's be real, I am very extra and who needs two facial brushes? No one. Um, I like the Clarisonic better than I like this. This is just a manual brush that you just use with the power of your arm. You know, whereas Clarisonic is battery powered. This exfoliates just as well, just less of a to-do, which I like more of a to-do because I'm extra, but I will be bringing this to Greece with me because like I said, the Clarisonic is just bulky and heavy and it's gonna take up too much weight in my luggage. Two last things, okay? Easy, Lancome Lashy Doll. I just opened a new one. Actually, I didn't. I opened it a couple months ago. Um, I'm gonna need a new one soon. My favorite, favorite mascara, I'm wearing it today. It kind of just gives that like wispy, separated, but naturally beautiful lash kind of vibe, which is my personal preference. And then the Real Techniques Expert Face for Foundation Brush. I think I confused some of you in my shorts. I mentioned it and I mentioned what it wasn't good for, but I didn't tell you what I use it for. So I originally was using it with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and the e.l.f. Putty Blush, but it didn't pick up enough pigmentation to really pack into the skin. However, now I'm using this e.l.f. brush with my Natural or Beautiful Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury, just a lighter foundation because it takes the foundation and spreads it really beautifully and really lightly across the skin. It's a very dense brush, so. Yeah, I've been really enjoying it more so for foundation. Didn't really enjoy it in terms of blush, contour, and bronzer because I have brushes for those already, which you guys already know. That is it. Those are all of the products that I recently tried. Didn't really try my thoughts on them. Things that you can, you know, plan on hearing about shortly when I get my hands in them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell if you have not done so yet. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.